Hello everyone, my name is Madhul Gupta. This is our next video in the strategy series uh, for prelims 2020 and mains 2019 uh, in which we have covered international relations, economy, polity, science tech, environment, ecology till now. In this particular video, I'll be discussing the strategy for geography. Uh, only 10 questions were there from geography uh, in this year's prelims and so we'll be analyzing them. Apart from that, we'll be developing a holistic strategy for prelims as well as the mains examination. Also, if you want to connect with me, you can email me at madhudgupta.upsc at gmail.com. Don't forget to join my telegram channel t.me slash madhudgupta and if you plan to subscribe to an academy plus you can use my referral code madhudgupta if you are using this referral code you'll get access to all my courses and also you'll get 10 percent discount on an academy plus right now if you talk about geography then the first question is with reference to cultivation of kharif crops right uh your question is kharif crops ko leke, cotton rice jowar in sab ko leke, ye question bana hai. Now, as far as this particular question is concerned, it is a medium question that can be solved directly from NCRT. Now, you must be saying that if it is directly, uh, if it can be directly solved from NCRT, then why I have categorized it as a medium question? Because see, even though this is given in NCRT, but some kind of data analysis is required. It is not given verbatim in the NCRT. After reading the NCRT, you will have to analyze the data. Har crop ke baare mein agar aap data analyze karte ho, uh, like uh, rice cultivation, jowar cultivation, oil seed cultivation, cotton, sugar cane. Uh, if you analyze all these datas, then only you will be able to and uh, solve this particular question. So that is why I have put it in the medium difficulty level. Because if you read crops, ke mein padoge, uh, you know one fourth of the total area is uh, with rice like that two third of the country, two fifth of the country, two point four percent of the area like this. It is given after analyzing this after reading this after incorporating this in your notes you have to analyze the data crop wise kiska zyada hai kiska kam hai us hisab se you will be able to solve this particular question so again even though everything was given in ncrt but you have to do some sort of data analysis to actually read the uh, reach the right answer as far as this particular question is concerned uh, regarding highest import value again uh, easy question directly given in 12th class ncrt india people and economy page number 127 ये यहाँ पे एक टेबल बना रखा है पेज 127 पे एंड ऑन इट इट इस गिवन दैट एडिबल ऑयल्स दे आर हaving द मैक्सिमम इंपोर्ट वैल्यू आउट ऑफ ऑल दिस ऑप्शंस इट इस द एडिबल ऑयल्स दैट हaving द मैक्सिमम इंपोर्ट वैल्यू सो अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ ज्योग्राफी दैट कैन बी डायरेक्टली सॉल्व फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ क्ल now again till now we have focused only upon ncrts we uh, haven't focused upon any commercial book till now all the questions can be directly solved from ncrts next is this in which we have to uh, match the famous places with their rivers as far as this question is concerned it is a very difficult question it was not given in ncrt or any other book neither in majid Hussain. i tried uh, finding it in majid Hussain as well but it was not given so again it was a very volatile question it was a very random question just my koi bhi river or koi bhi jaga utha ke de di hai. Uh, these places that are not there in uh, you know ncrts or majid Hussain or anywhere else so aisi jaga hai isme pe di hui hai. right so again it can be solved you know only if you have extreme knowledge of places and uh, rivers otherwise it cannot be solved easily so it is a volatile question uh, that we have put in the difficulty level uh, difficult uh, category right so this was one volatile question another question which of the following national parks lie completely in the temperate alpine zone Ki which uh, uh, park you know you should have an idea which lies in tropical zone subtropical zone above tropic of cancer below tropic of cancer beyond 35 degrees in temperate zone like that so again uh, this was a difficult question that was again neither given in uh, you know ncrt is not given in newspaper on and off newspaper mein thoda baut mentioned tha, but clearly kahi pe bhi mentioned nahi tha. so again it is a very volatile question uh, so ये दो क्वेश्चंस ऐसे थे ज्योग्राफी में जो काफी ज्यादा वॉलेटाइल रहे हैं एंड दे कैन ओनली बी हैंडल्ड इफ यू आर रीडिंग न्यूज़पेपर वेरी 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 माइन्यूटली इवन देन आल्सो यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट ऑल द ऑप्शंस क्योंकि वैल्यू ऑफ नेशनल फ्लावर्स नेशनल पार्क दैट इज देयर इन उत्तराखंड दैट वाज नॉट मेंशनड इन न्यूज़पेपर थ्रू आउट द ईयर so how would you know ki aapko iski location pata karni hai and all so again there was no concrete basis for this particular question because it was neither in ncrt nor in any other source nor in majid usain nor in newspaper 
right so it is very difficult to keep a track of each and every national park and that is why again this question is very volatile bahut hi volatile question hai and again a very difficult question so what do we do with these type of questions better is leave them kyunki sare questions obviously aapko attempt nahi karna even if you are attempting you know uh, 85 questions with accuracy then also you'll be able to cross 120 115 mark so you don't have to focus upon these questions agar aapko 5 se 7 questions if you have to skip even 5 to 7 questions there is no harm in it you can safely skip it rather than going for negative marking there is no point of going for negative marking it's better to leave such kind of questions because again you can neither prepare for them nor you can answer them accurately in the exam no point of tukkebazi in exam otherwise it will obviously lead to negative marking now again a very direct question from ncrt on 21st of june the sun obviously answer is uh, a it does not set below uh, arctic circle direct question that is given in ncrt easy question from ncrt right next is this particular question related to agricultural soils and uh, poultry industry try to solve this now as far as this question is concerned it is a medium uh, type of question that is uh, given in the newspaper directly uh, june 5th uh, 2018 one year window ke andar hi hamar ko diya hua hai nitrogen emission going up it was directly there in the hindu newspaper so again another direct question from newspaper why medium because uh, usually sc news jo hai neglect kar dete hain study and all these kind of news they are usually neglected by aspirants so that is why isko thoda medium category maine dala otherwise this question can be directly solved from newspaper if you have religiously followed one year newspaper window so see even in geography as well current affairs are coming up from newspaper environment ecology polity economy ir they were always dominated by current affairs usme koi doubt nahi hai lekin geography mein bhi hindu ka role yahan pe dheere dheere aane laga hai right so again a medium difficulty level question that can be solved using newspaper another question uh, related to aliar izapur and kangzabati as far as this question is concerned it is extremely difficult question because this particular question is based upon current affairs it was neither there in ncrt nor there in nius nor there in pib nor there in majid husain nor there in any newspaper kahi pe bhi mentioned nahi tha there was this report by ministry of water affairs water ministry ka ek report tha uske andar inka naam mention kiya gaya tha this is the screenshot so they are related to water reservoir again you cannot really solve such questions kyunki har roz so many notifications aate hain hundreds of notifications are there every day so it is virtually impossible to cover such notifications that are not mentioned anywhere in news or etc so again it's best to leave such kind of questions it is best to leave such kind of questions you cannot handle these kind of questions at all aapne suna hi nahi hoga inka naam right now the point is मेनी ऑफ यू मस्ट भी मस्ट भी थिंकिंग की मैंने बोल दिया कि सात से आठ क्वेश्चन स्किप कर दो सी देर इज नो हार्म इन इट इवन इफ यू आर स्किपिंग टेन क्वेश्चन देन ऑल्सो यू हैव स्कोप ऑफ अटेम्प्टिंग नाइनटी क्वेश्चन दैट इज वन एट्टी मार्क्स एंड इफ यूर एक्यूरेसी इज हाई यू कैन स्कोर एज हाई एज वन ट्वेंटी और वन थर्टी मार्क्स सो वाई आई एम आस्किंग यू टू स्किप दीज क्वेश्चन इज टू रिड्यूस नेगेटिव मार्किंग तुक्केबाजी आप इसमें कर सकते हो बट अगेन द पॉइंट हेयर इज You have to avoid negative marking. जितनी ज्यादा negative marking आप avoid करोगे उतना ही score आपका ऊपर जाएगा So you cannot solve such kind of questions because they are not given any source. किसी भी source में जब दिए ही नहीं है तो आप solve कैसे करोगे Right? Why are dew drops not formed on a cloudy night? Again, a very very easy question directly from NCERT. Cloudy uh, Cloudy night night or dews को लेके पेज नंबर नाइनटी नाइन क्लास इलेवंथ एन सी आर टी चैप्टर इलेवन राइट फिजिकल जोग्राफी की जो एन सी आर टी है फिजिकल जोग्राफी उसमें डायरेक्टली मैंशन है यहां पर राइट क्लियर स्काई काम एयर हाई रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी एंड ऑल सो इट इज कैटेगोरिकली डायरेक्टली मैंशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज आर्टिकल सॉरी आर्टिकल ऑफ द बुक नाउ दिस इज अ मैप बेस्ड क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द न्यूज पेपर बहुत बार एन नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स ऑल दीज सीज एंड एरियाज वर मैं इन न्यूज पेपर 
सो बहुत ही ईजी और डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन है फ्रॉम द एटलेस एंड द न्यूज पेपर अगेन कैन बी डायरेक्टली सॉल्व केक वॉक क्वेश्चन जिन्होंने एटलेस ठीक से पढ़ी होगी एंड अगेन अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माई प्लस कोर्स एज वेल सो इट कैन बी सॉल्व वेरी इजिली जो मेरा जोग्राफी थ्रू मैप्स का प्लस कोर्स था उसमें सीधा सीधा सारी चीजें मैंने कराई थी सो दो ऑफ यू हैव अटेंडेड दट कोर्स यू कैड हैव इजिली सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो यू नो As far as this question is concerned, if you have read Atlas properly, it is a cakewalk question, hardly taking 15 seconds. So again, extremely easy question. Now see, the trend here is till now, I have not, uh, you know, focused upon any commercial book till now. अभी तक किसी भी commercial book का मैंने नाम यहाँ पे नहीं लिया है. Next question, which of the following pairs are correctly matched? Rivers and their glaciers. This question again, an extremely easy question. that can be solved from this particular ncrt uh, that is class 11th ncrt chapter 3 page number 25 uske upar yahan pe glaciers aur unke rivers ke naam diye hue hain so again you know direct question from ncrts yamuna originates from bandar punch absolutely right but as far as milam glacier is concerned it is saryu river saryu river that originates from uh, milam glacier so third is incorrect b is gone d is gone Now one is absolutely correct as per NCERT. So A is the answer. B, C is not there because one option is not there. One to pakka correct as per NCERT. So like this, it becomes an extremely easy question directly from NCERT. NCERT, if you have read it correctly, then here the Bandar Punch has been given a name, and the Milam Glacier has been given a name. Straight, straight. So this can be solved directly. so we have analyzed all the 10 questions that were there in geography in this year's prelims humne trend dekha sab kuch dekha so if we talk about uh 10 questions five were easy two were medium and three were difficult these three difficult questions cannot be handled again uh kyunki ye koi bhi handle nahi kar payega it is not about you lekin jo bahut hi zyada subject experts hain sirf wohi ise handle kar sakte hain kyunki bahut hi out of the league questions the wo and it is not practically advisable to chase such questions so out of the 10 questions five can be directly solved from ncrts one from newspaper and four from other sources that is internet and google atlas right if we talk about the sources of geography for gs paper 1 and prelims agar hum geography ki baat karte hain then NCERT 6 to 12 you have to read all the NCERTs there is no substitute for that aapko padhna hi padhna hai supplement NCERTs with atlas jo bhi jagah NCERT mein aapko dikh rahi hai you have to read that place in atlas as well and whatever is given in the newspaper whatever places you are encountering in newspaper akhbar mein aapko jo bhi jagahein mil rahi hain you have to find them in atlas as well wo jagahein bhi aapko atlas mein dhoondni hai apart from that gc leong is compulsory is bar gc leong se physical geography mein koi question nahi aaya but in mains it will be of extreme significance so gc leong you have to read there is no option about it padhni hi padhni hai and very very selective reading of majid husain if you have time and energy kai bar mains mein majid husain kaam aa jati hai but you have to read it very selectively only important chapters such as drainage physical setting agriculture of india like that so very very selective reading of majid husain jaise aapko dd basu ki selective reading karni hai polity mein similarly you have to do selective reading of majid husain in geography So this is the complete strategy for geography. If you are following these sources, almost all the questions and problems on the mains can be tackled easily. So NCERT six to twelfth, Atlas, GC Leong, and very very selective reading of Majid Hussain. Right. If you plan to subscribe to an Academy Plus, you can use my referral code Mudad Gupta for ten percent discount. You can join my Telegram channel t.me/slash Mudad Gupta, and you can also email me. Thank you very much.